All right, everybody, welcome back to part two of The Pope. This is Beautiful Brad. Sparkly Shells. And the our Pope. <laughs> favorite guy, The Pope. Hopefully you stuck with us last week through that Yeah, one. yeah. <laughs> We're just going to get right off the bat into uh, what's on tap. Our Pope has got some more Tennessee whiskey for us. And this is the from the orange this variation. Is, this is... Uh, moonshine, and yes, there is orange juice in it, but mostly for color and a little bit for flavor. But it tastes like those cream sickles you had as a kid, where it was like orange with like a white center. It's very orangey and very vanilla, and it's only like fifty proof, so it's not like. All right, that let's thing. try it. It's All right. glorious. All right, cheers, cheers. my friends. Cheers. Great. Mm, that's tasty. Very tasty Ooh, indeed. Ooh, I told you you like it. It does taste just like a cream sickle. Yeah. I know, right? I know. So now that you've sampled a few of these, now you get what I'm talking about. Like, yeah. I bought some of these flavors for the girls. <laughs> I get it. But the manly drink is the 150 whiskey. Yeah. Like, like, okay, I got some foo foo flavors. Okay, right. But this, this is the fucking. That one will definitely good. put hair on your balls right there. Oh. oh, yeah. It's good, though. Right. So anyway, yeah, right. All right. So on um, the Pope Part 1, we were talking about when we were concluding the episode, something that our Pope did that might offend Shell's. Now, with Shell's new positivity attitude, let's see if the positivity can win over what exactly happened. Also, let me set the scene. I had to leave the room so that our Pope could discuss this with Brad and see if this was acceptable enough. Because apparently I'm going to get so pissed off that I'm going to defriend the Pope. Well, well, okay, let's so, put this in perspective, though, in the first place. What I'm doing is, is I am actually showing concern about a woman's feelings, okay? So that should make you feel very fucking honored right there. Because typically, I don't give a fuck about what women think. Or well, feel. that is shocking. <laughs> so, so I get credit for that. I basically told the Pope that Shells would pry it out of me when we left to the point that... We've got to tell her, right? And we've got to tell her on the pod. You guys are all curious. Yeah, we yeah. need to know. Brand, just Brad is just an artist. He knows Shelly's going to be mad, but he's like, oh, that'll be great on the podcast. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, fuck your personal friendships. Fuck your personal relationships. This will be good fucking material. Well, it's not even fuck the, the friendships. Like, I want you guys to be friends, well, yeah, but you had already <laughs> dropped the bomb. Hopefully it doesn't impact your friendship, but we definitely want it on the podcast. Well, like, there's no way I'm going home and Shelly's letting me get out of the car. No, to be honest, there's no way we would leave without me browbeating Sheldon into telling oh, Exactly, true. exactly. So he would have been the one to tell Okay, me. so we're going to stick to fun drunk stories. And in leading up to that other story about Shelly, let's go back to another story that is similar. You guys got to stick around to the last bit of the pod to hear oh, anyway. what this story is. The first part's pretty good, too. Well, right, so you know, you're, you're, you're saving the whole bit until oh. the end. This will be our Flashback Friday. Oh. Uh, I can't fucking wait that long. The God Pope style. Me. You two producers are arguing. Are you right, telling so, the story now or later? I don't, right. I'm drinking. On <laughs> this episode of Pope Part 2, we're just going to get... Flashback Friday right off the bat because it, it is definitely eating shells up. So Peter Pete, Sheldon Peter. Pete, Pope, 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 Pope Peter. Pope Peter. Pope, Pope Peter. Pope, Pope, Peter. Pope, Pope Peter the fourth? No, Pope Peter's the chick of the beer. Alright. Build the scene. Give us context before you deliver the blow okay. that shells okay. might disown you. I know, right. So I like I'm gonna have to tell two stories because the first story is kinda bad. You know, just remind Shelly where she was at that time and where I was at that time. Mm-hmm. Kind of like you know, because things are different now. I'm old. Shelly's married. Got a baby. So you know, we're not quite like the I mean, crazy assholes that we used yeah, to. Yeah, and this was what probably like ten years. Ten ago. years ago. Ten years ago. At least. So it was at least a minimum of six years ago. Preston, sorry about this as well. Do you, I mean, oh yeah, Preston might get pissed. I didn't even think about do, that. Do you want to give the apologies now? Well, I'm not gonna rethink this because, like, I was just like, oh my god, Shelly might be mad, but now Preston might be mad. <laughs> Technically, his name wasn't on the lease, though. So it really wasn't his right. apartment. So he's already building context. This is when you uh, building context. moved out on your own. You on were on summer side. Are you going to tell me about the time that you fucked the chick and you broke my futon? That was the lead-in story. Good job. Oh, okay. That, All right, so let's start with that. That, that connects with the other bits with the boyfriend or whatever. You realize we had to stop fucking because she had to take her boyfriend his fucking breakfast at the Ford factory at 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> she was a good girlfriend. <laughs> oh, there she was hot. Dude, I, ooh, that was good. 
Good. Build the scene, Poe. You're right. That's she. She's so good. That was the lead-in story. So anyway, there's this chick named I forget what she liked. Whatever her name was spelled L E A H. Okay. Alilia? And well, however she pronounced it, I purposely pronounced it the other way in honor of Star Wars because sometimes it's Princess Leia and sometimes it's Princess Leah, right? <laughs> right? Yes, yes, yes. I do remember her. Okay, yes. so whatever her name yep. was, I called her the opposite of what she wanted just because, you know, it was funny. And then she says, don't call me Leah or don't call me Leia or whatever it was. So then I said, okay, you know what? It would be easier if I just call you Princess. Don't you call me Princess? I'm like, but you are. You are Princess. <laughs> so I just called her Princess. All I time. think I already know what you're going to say. What? Because I think I already know the story. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, you do not know the, the story. That is the highlight of the podcast. Right. I think it is. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't know this story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you tell oh the story, God. and then oh I'll say God. what I thought it was. Oh I, I just want to say, I have never done anything like this, and you call me an animal. <laughs> all right, all right, build the story. Wait, hold the on. <laughs> Shelly. I love you deeply. You're like my sister. I'm sorry in advance. This was wrong. I mean, it didn't hurt you. Okay, okay. But it was rude. And Brad's right. I'm an animal. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know this. Nobody the knows Cincinnati this. Zoo. Nobody knows this story. Until now. Now the whole world's going to know. So, okay, so anyway. Leah, Leia, princess, whatever. Was this hot little thing. She was, yeah, she was 20 years younger. Um, she was tall. She was as tall as me. Maybe a little taller. Like, she was somewhere between me and you, Brad. You know, right? Blue eyes, big old titties. Mm. The 6'3 singer from the band. No, 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 no. This is a different one. This is a different one. Oh, wow. You say you, you get some Neander- Neanderthals. Neanderthals. <laughs> Amazonians. Wow. Yes. By you the way, are- by the way, yeah. have you discovered that in porn, the new Amazon move? No, I haven't. Tell dude, me about it. dude, I've never, I, and I've done a lot, okay? i never done this one. It's some new porn move where, like, the guy's laying on the bed, and the chick grabs, like, behind his knees and put his knees by his ear and, like, puts his dick in her and, like, fucking bucks him. Really? It's called the Amazon. And I'm like, dude, I haven't done that. I don't think my dick's big enough for that. You got to be working with a nine-incher. In his butt? No, 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 no. no. Like, she's dude got... laying on his back. Chick grabs his knees and puts his knees by his ears. And then sits And then on. puts his dick in her. And then she... <laughs> uh, uh, Bucks him. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of hot. Gotcha. Right? It is hot. I, I don't know. Yeah, I know. I've never done that. that. Y'all are too old for that shit. <laughs> I'm not. Who the fuck are you talking to? I'm not too old for that. Sorry. He's the me. Pope. <laughs> he takes his CBD oil, so his I'm going to go I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. I have broken that little rule with my daughter. Okay. What? The Amazonian rule? Like, yeah. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> the never, never younger than my daughter thing. Oh, I thought you were like, what? Nobody Where knows are we about going that. Here? Nobody knows that, and I'm not going to tell that story, but I might have broken that. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. She's not of legal drinking. She is of legal age of consent, but not legal drinking age. So, you can say, oh, you guys are too old for that. I'm not too old for that. Okay. I'm not too old hey, for that. Don't let ages get you down, man. It doesn't. Not ever. Ages and number. It's all in your fucking That's head. That's right. All your friends are fucking older than me. And they're all ages. Yeah, they are. They your are. friends who are... They, they rip on me for looking at babes in bikinis that are like 18 and tight as fuck. They call me a weirdo. Okay, you know what? You're not a weirdo. You know, if we were Vikings, that's breeding age. Exactly. That's like, let's no, go no, no, fucking find it, the fruit. It's, for it's our not even complex. about. It's not even about being a pervert or being sick or being older. It's about evolution and genetics. Exactly. Okay. The gene. In a man that likes to fuck six-year-old women doesn't reproduce very much. Exactly. The gene in men that like to fuck twenty-year-olds reproduces a lot to spread the seed because we're so, here to so, reproduce. So as thousands and thousands of years go by, it's a predominant thing that men want younger women mm-hmm. because evolutionary-wise, it makes sense. Absolutely. Okay? Thank fucking God you can't reproduce anymore. I adopt him. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Let's okay. paint the scene. So, well, hold on, hold on. Let me right. finish this. And if you think I'm wrong with this about what men want... I told you, you I agreed with you and, and, 100%. And, yeah, when I'm talking to your, pe- your people that make fun of you. Fuck you, people. Yeah, okay? fuck you. <laughs> now, listen, look at pornography. Okay, yes, there is some midget porn. Yes, there's some grandma porn. Yes, there's some fat girl porn. But you know what porn is mostly? It is 95% white girls from 18 to 25. That is what the majority of men want. So fuck you. Brad's not a weirdo. Brad is fucking saving humanity. Fuck all y'all. Yes, you should have five little kids too, Brad. Absolutely not. Yes, you should. Free the animals. 
You should be like a basketball player, like go to different towns and knock up chicks. You go to a different town, knock up a different chick. And then you don't you just, make enough to pay that child support. Genghis Khan, it though. They're man. only allowed to take half of your check, for the record. <laughs> So, like, if your check's $500, all they can take is 250 Your check's right. 1000 most of can take 500 Can so anyway. I ask you your strategy with you quit your job that was making good yeah, money? Yeah, because you bitch trying to take all my money. Take like, all your money. So, yeah, you live off tip. Okay, briefly what Brad's talking about. I got fucked. And the way I got fucked was when I had a wife and... Our kid was going to child care, and our kid was constantly sick because, you know, people are assholes. They know their kid's sick, but they take them to daycare anyway because they're going to go work. So they take their sick kid there, so every kid in daycare is always sick the entire winter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And basically, my wife was working in order to pay daycare. Her entire check was going, you know, to daycare. So we made an agreement where, like, she would stay home with her kids because it's the best thing for her kids, and I would just work extra to make extra money. I don't regret that. That was a fucking stand-up fucking move. Yeah. However, when she decided, eh, I'm not happy, I want a divorce, like all, not all, like most cunts do, then we go to court, and it's like, well, Your Honor, Mr. Light makes $75,000 a year, and Mrs. Light makes $0 in income, so you owe her $8,000 a week. <laughs> yeah. It's no joke. Child it's not a no joke. joke. And she gets custody because, you know, women are better parents than men. Well, anyway, whatever. So they're like trying to rape me. And I'm like, ha ha, watch this. Close my bank account. Get a job delivering pizzas. It's all cash. You can get whatever quarter way you want. I get $200 a day in cash and put it in my pocket, motherfuckers. So, yeah. Fuck you. They, they take the fucking child support. They take my check. And they well, you, you've got the tips to live off right. of. Right. Yeah. Which child I mean, support I mean, is a joke because dudes can't afford to live off that right. shit. Exactly. <laughs> funny, but yes, Can I that's the fucking story. Brad wanted that. I didn't mean for it to be funny. I just wanted right. to like. He wanted Brad's a little misogynistic himself. He wanted oh, on the record. God. He wanted on the record. Fuck child support. Fuck the courts. Fuck bitches. And you know what? She was a Libra. Put her on the fucking train. Put her on the Libra. <laughs> on the train. Put her on the train. See? All right. With me. The shells is anxiously pacing. Okay. Princess Leia. I don't remember how I picked that chick up. Wow. Whatever. In all fairness, she had a young daughter and I had young kids and I was trying to treat her for real. I wasn't treating her like a hooker. I took my three youngest and her and her daughter to, uh, what's that fucking plant place? The conservatory. It was oh, a conservatory. Yeah. And walked around the conservatory and looked at all the pretty shit. Then we went to that big lake and we said fucking bread to the fucking ducks and shit. And I fucked up. I thought treating her real would like make her wake up. No, no, no. That didn't work. It was one of those things of like... She's one of those fucking self-destructive cunts where, like, it's too good, so therefore I got to fuck it up. You know what I mean? Have you ever run into one of those? Oh, yeah. Where, like, it's too good, so this isn't going to last. It's too good. I can't believe this will last, so I must fuck it up. I'll just go ahead and fuck it up now because I, you know, I'll fuck it up later. And you know, I hate that. I, I do. I fucking despise that. They do it or you do it? No, they do. Oh, well, they, I, I usually do that myself. <laughs> no, I mean, I fuck it up plenty. I do. I fuck up plenty of relationships. Fucking off. I fucked up Chocahontas. That's a good story. Chocahontas. So, did you know Chocahontas came no, back lately? Well, let's finish this no, no, story. No, no, I'm not going to lose track. Do you know that Chocahontas came back lately? I don't know who Chocahontas, but let's talk about Chocahontas later. Let's finish uh, the story. It's racist to call her that. Well, that's fine. You know, the I, short version I, I is think, I think, the Pope wait, wanted no, to Princess have Leia. filled we're, all the racist we're, fucking we're, categories. We're on Princess Leia, leading to. The unspeakable deed I did don't, at Shelly's yeah, house. Don't, please, I, come on. Okay. You, you got to build to it. All right, so anyway, Princess Lake, I don't remember where I met her. I tried to treat her real. It didn't work out. So anyway, we're out one night. We're at the lake. We're doing shots. We're like, oh, back to Shelly's. I fucked that bitch on the futon so hard I broke the futon. <laughs> and we had just moved in, by the way. Just bought that futon. <laughs> I broke the futon fucking this I Amazon think, bitch. I think we literally bought it that week. Do you want me to give you $100? Did, did you, I'll give you $100 right wait, now. I'm yes. sorry. Did you, Pay me yeah. $100. Did you have that apartment before you met Preston or after? After. So I was in the process of getting it when we met. Okay, so you had yeah, met him Preston, when you were Preston had a little one-room apartment or something when they met. Yeah, but right? he, so did he yeah. shortly move in after? Or? He pretty much lived there. He still had his apartment, but he pretty much lived there. Okay. So anyway, they got a new futon. Sean brings over some Amazon Princess Lay and fucks her so hard he breaks the futon. Now think about that. I'm an old dude, and I'm with some fucking 25-year-old. Well, you're in your 40s at that point. Yeah, and she was in her 20s, and she's taller than me, and I fucked her so hard I broke the fucking futon. Well, I don't so let's keep this straight. I don't doubt your stamina. I, I, fucked her so, I fucked her so hard I broke the fucking futon. Now, the funny part of the story is, is we had to stop fucking... 
because she had promised her boyfriend to bring him breakfast at 5 a.m. at the Ford factory. (laughs) (laughs) You know what's funny? Because I've been in the situation. (laughs) And I'm like, oh, I gotta go, baby. Why? Why do you gotta go? Fuck, this is great. We've been fucking for four hours. Let's keep fucking. We already broke the food time. Four hours. We had. Good God. What time did you go to your room with Preston? All right. Or one or two? And we were still out there. Okay, maybe it was only three hours. Either way. Did, were they out there? No, they... they well, were, while the petting started? Like, maybe it was yeah, like... Uh, you petting, guys were all, like, turning the, the, each other the, the, the on? The petting started at the lake. <laughs> no, no. Why, like, it could have been, like, a the, the, switch the petting, or a petting, gangbang? The petting started at the lake. Oh, I'm buying her shots of tequila and had my hand up her fucking pussy at the fucking lake. I'm oh, the table, right. right? I'm like... <laughs> She's like, no, I really can't get drunk. I gotta like meet my boyfriend later. I'm like, shut up, girl. Here, we'll shut the tequila. Right? Such a scuzzy. Totally. So anyway, so anyway, <laughs> fuck this bitch so hard I break the food time. She has to leave at five a.m. because she promised her boyfriend breakfast at the Ford factory. Okay, okay. Good so she got to do working at Ford, and she's yeah. out fucking getting fucked on the futon. Right? Because women are such noble creatures. Ah, oh, they are. <laughs> I know it. I know. Preach to the choir, brother. I mean, we're not all like that. Just the ones. Ninety percent of the ones I've met are like that. You're not. Just the ones that you're not. Fine. Shells is not, but I love how they all say we're not, but mm. the majority of them are. I love. We're not all like that. I know. I love no, Shelly. I love Shelly. Shelly is a wonderful mother and a wonderful wife. She is. Period. Shelly's never been like the women I'm talking about. <laughs> Although Brad and I are in agreement. Sorry, we both agreed five years ago. We are never moving your fucking box of sand <laughs> ever again. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. fucking way. Yeah. Your box of sand can go in the trash. <laughs> I will Preston never fucking can move it, that Preston can can throw it the fuck away. Yeah. But Brad and I are not moving that no again. No fucking way. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm going to give up this apartment. I, I, oh, my God. Guy. That I'm thing gonna, was retarded. I'm going to move this apartment. I'm back with this guy. Could you move my 800-pound box of sand again, please? This Get thing. Get me down four sets of steps. Yeah. Back up four sets of steps again. This thing the, is legit. The third time in a year. 250 no. pounds. Yeah, no. Well, yeah, no. But I love sand. you guys so much for doing that. It will never That's happen. That's a drunk story. Do you Man, still have that box of sand, that. by the way? I do. You better. Yeah, well, you fucking better. Preston, that's your fucking that, gig. That, that. <laughs> and of course, this beautiful, wonderful woman is living in a fucking five hundred dollar a month apartment with a ten thousand dollar mattress that won't fit up the fucking stairwells. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brad, yeah, that thing Brad, too. Brad said to me, "I've never heard curse words like that." Because <laughs> he got <laughs> stuck. No, dude, it was in Milford, and it wouldn't fit through the fucking stairwell. It was so fucking big, and I just went off. I'm like, "You." Fucking Christless cock sucking piece of oh, fucking yeah, shit. Yeah. Christless fuck. cock sucker. I've never heard that before. <laughs> and you know what? Honestly, I'd never said it before. I, I was so angry. I was making up curse words. I know. We're, we're just like over it. You like, fucking Christless cock sucker. I'm punching yeah. the mattress <laughs> yeah. to make it fit under the roof. Yeah. And it's like, never again. Like, well, wait, wait. Good job on the mattress, guys. Can you get my box of sand? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck your box of sand. Yeah, for real. But it makes me happy when I have a bad day at work. I come home and I put my feet in the sand. It reminds me of how I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You mean it. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, that's the worst. You have no idea how much we love you. I love you guys yes. so much for doing that. Yeah, right. yeah he said yeah. Christless cocksucker, and I've never <laughs> even heard that word. I literally had nobody else to move me at that time. And okay. Well, I looked out for Sheldon because I, I think I left with yeah, the. Yeah, uh, fucking chick. Yeah, he ended up fucking somebody down there. I did, with your, your neighbor. neighbor. And That's then the, about he her. moved in with a roommate, and he was like banging this chick yes. in the kitchen or something. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I forgot about that. Listen, here's a little sidebar. Every once in a while, someone says, How many people have you fucked? And I'm like, I don't know. And they're like, We should write it down. So I try to write it down, and then at least once a month, I'm reminded of some chick I forgot. There you go. <laughs> the roommate in Milford. She was blonde. She the Christless kind of, cocksucker. She, she was a little old, but she was good. It was a that good was fuck. That was in Northern Kentucky. It was what? In Northern Kentucky. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right. But she, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I picked her up. We're moving in. She's like, you guys moving in? Oh my God, I saw my girlfriend. I'll help her move in. Like, what's your name? You're right. See? That's one I forgot. Mm-hmm. This is why I can never have a complete list. People are like, how many, how many <laughs> women do you fuck? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. You should write it down. Okay, I try. And then like once a month, once every two months, there's like, oh, wait, I forgot about her. <laughs> there you go. That bimbo when I was moving Shelly's apartment to Northern Kentucky. Yeah, she was good. 
It was good, but she's like, it's serious. She like, was like, like the woman like version shit. of Sheldon, though. Yes, yeah, she was. She was great, though. She was <laughs> she awesome. Was. <laughs> Actually, you're right. She was very much a woman version of Sheldon, which I thought that's why it would work. I was like kind of taking it semi-serious. I wasn't in love, but I was not treating like some fucking whore. I'm going to fuck her and go away. You know, I was like, hey, we should go to you. See, that like, worked out for you. Literally yeah. that night, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shelly was texting me. Yeah. Like, so oh, it's like, first night at the new apartment, Shelly was banging some Shelly. bitch in my kitchen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we moved all this shit to Kentucky, and Sheldon picked up some random bitch in my apartment complex and fucking her in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Pope, motherfucker. <laughs> so anyway, Can hold on. Oh, I am continuing the story. God. For the love of God. For the love of God. You think, no, no, you let, think, let him get there. <laughs> you think that I'm drunk rambling, and that's cool, but I am the Pope. That story about moving your fucking sandbox was important so that you remember you do love me because this story may hurt your feelings. Okay. But remember, I moved your sandbox. Okay? I'm yeah. not even talking about the time you abandoned me in Covington, and I'm in the fucking backseat of your car at fucking 100 degrees. We saw Jay and Bob. No. Let's get <laughs> yeah. back to this story. Okay, we'll get back to that story later. Let's get back to this Whoa. fucking story. No, because uh-oh, uh-oh. that Fire shit up. was all wrong. <laughs> He's talking about, I fucking abandoned him. He picks me up. He drives me it was there. Your car. No, it was your car. It I remember you guys car. calling me that night. Like, can you car? guys pick me up? It was yeah. Jay and Silent Bob. Because this motherfucker <laughs> got so damn drunk. Well, it was we Jay, both it was Jay got and Bob. so drunk. It was Jay and Silent Bob. It was Jay and he Silent goes, Bob. <laughs> he goes to the car, which Sheldon always drives drunk, so I'm like, okay, I assume That's he's going to get me home. <laughs> That's inadmissible. Allegedly. Man, all the Allegedly, things. Sheldon always drives drunk. God damn it, quit saying the S word. No, we're she leaving his it. name in. At this point. So, anyways, he gets us both so fucking drunk. He goes to his car. We get in the car. He fucking passes out. Like, snoring, drunk, <laughs> passed the out. the driving wheel in my hand? And I think you were even in the fucking back seat. I think you went to the so back I, seat and Yeah, because they out. can bust you if you're in the driver's seat. I always go to the back seat. Like, so, I, it's like midnight in Covington. I think it was like, an invitation and you just I gotta pick find up on a it. fucking ride home. I was like, come yeah, on, Yeah, I remember you calling me and I was, I was like, come on, go in the back seat. It's like, yeah, we're you, fucked. Like, I need someone to come pick me up. He's passed out in the fucking back seat. There was you no waking like, this motherfucker you up. You could pass out in the front seat. <laughs> no. That was not happening. So, no, I did not fucking abandon you. You abandoned me? <laughs> I passed not out. You. I passed out. I did not leave the scene. We went to the concert, which, and everything else, that was a great concert. I didn't remember the fucking end of it. So well, I don't remember happened. the end of it either, but I remember being so fucking happy when they walked out. I was like, oh my God, Jay and Sam Bob in real life. Fucking rage, man. You're right. I lost a few hours. Time travel. <laughs> and I woke oh, up yeah. in the back seat of the car, and it was like 187 degrees because the windows <laughs> were up. It was like July. Okay? No, it was like no, still. It was cold. Yeah, it was still. Because I remember I was hanging out in Luke's car, garage when she was calling dude, me, dude, and we were like. That car was hot. Okay. Maybe. It's probably from all that fucking gas you were letting out. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> fucking snoring. Okay. I, oh my god. Maybe. No, I did not fucking abandon you. Uh, you okay. abandoned me, if anything. Uh, I'm sorry. I was going all through my phone. I moved your I had sandbox. To find a ride home. Did, did you, you your find sandbox? One? Yeah. I moved your sandbox repeatedly. Yes. Okay, that's what I want. Okay, so then I fucked Princess on the fucking futon and broke the fucking futon. And then she had to go bring her boyfriend breakfast and all that. Okay. Okay, so in the early days, here we go. Here's the real story, Shells. Please don't hate me. I moved your sandbox okay. repeatedly. Okay. <laughs> repeatedly. Okay. In the early days, Preston wasn't always there. So Shelly would go to bed, I would crash on the couch, and when I woke up at 5 a.m. and I really had to fucking piss. You could go because the bath the bathroom was in the bedroom, mm. so you could go in, be real quiet, don't wake Shelly up, go to the bathroom, sit down so it's not so noisy, don't piss on the seat, psh, flush the toilet, psh, turn the light off before you open the door because you want to Shelly up. It's her house, be cool, and then go back to the couch and pass out. And I forget you had some DVDs that was like binging on. I think um, the Sons of Anarchy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I didn't mm-hmm. know Sons of Anarchy at the time, and she had like all four seasons on. 28 DVDs. So I was binge watching Sons of Anarchy. And it was really, really quiet. So then time goes by. And then Preston starts staying over more. And that's cool. Great. I'm happy for her. I'm a great guy. I love Toto. Which, by the way, that was one of our finest nicknames. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. we've got a lot of nicknames. But Toto. Dude, Toto is the best one I we ever did. I forgot that was his nickname. 
dude, every time we tell a story, he'd be like, oh, that time back in Kansas. <laughs> and it was no, like, no, no, yeah, but I mean, I, I haven't seen him hey, watch lately. We're not, we're not in Kansas anymore. Toto, Toto. Toto. I'm going to Toto next time I see Fucking him. Fucking shout out to Toto. Anyway. I think you're the only one that still calls him that. Neighbors sometimes every once in a while does. It's one of our finest nicknames. Anyway. <laughs> it's a good nickname. Toto. Because every time we tell a story, he'd be like, back in Kansas, well, blah, blah, blah. Well, we're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm on the story now. Yeah, he, he's doing the story. I'm on the story. So after time goes by, Toto starts staying over. And that's cool. You know, right? I'm so happy. My girl, Shelly, has got a real man. And he's a good man. And I mean that. I felt that from the get-go. I told you from the get-go. I love you, He's Preston. a good guy. Yes, Ray's fucking Ray's Preston. Good dude. And I said that from the get-go. No, I think that one's a good one for you. And I did. I was always Team Toto from the get-go. So then, of course, they're fucking, so they lock the door. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I wake up at 5 a.m., gotta piss. Fuck, the door's locked. The fuck? Oh, and my bathroom was in my bedroom. Yeah, the bathroom was yeah. in the bedroom. That's, that's, you had to go the into the bedroom. The, yeah, I mentioned that earlier. But They're in a one-bedroom apartment, and the, bathroom, and the bathroom's in the bedroom. In the bedroom, yeah. So when they're fucking, they, they're right, locking right. the door. There's nowhere to go. And you know how it is. After you come, you fall asleep. You don't get up and unlock the door because, you know, the Pope might need to fucking piss at 5 a.m. You're just like, whatever, fuck him. We're sleeping. We're naked. We're sleeping. Fuck off. So, in mission number one, I pissed off the deck. I pissed okay. off that deck many More than times. Once. <laughs> okay, good. She's handling that pretty well. Okay. Yeah, I mean. It, it gets worse. Yeah, well, Dalton pissed in the hallway. I don't think oh, we no, were there. Yeah. Oh, I did that with Dalton. Oh, I did that with No, we walked out the door, turned left, pissed over the rear. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, Dalton both did that. yeah, yeah. I pissed in your hallway. In mission number two. All right, yeah. How, How you do you it? You beat in the hallway? Yeah, me and Dalton both. No, it's getting better. No, Dalton did it, and then, like, Dalton had to piss again. I'm like, where are you going? He's like, I just pissed the fuck off. I'm like, really? And so then I went, and then Dalton and I both pissed over there. <laughs> God. You still like Dalton? Are you still okay with Dalton? Yeah. I mean, he's underground <laughs> these days, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, Speaking of that, short sidebar. Does anybody talk to Dalton anymore? Yeah, we saw he, he, was, he was on, on like, pod. pod number three or four. Or... Yeah, he was on Did pod. Did he knock some bitch up yet? Nah, no. he's just living with somebody and their girlfriend. Living his good life. You know. Shout out to you, and, Dalton. And the, and the, and shout out to Dalton. Raise Dalton, you fucking cowboy. <laughs> anyway, for Pope Podcast number three, we're going to talk about the time <laughs> Dalton tried to hit on my daughter, and I told him I'd fuck his twin sister if he didn't leave my daughter alone. <laughs> That's a pretty good story. I'm pretty sure Dalton could have fucked um, my daughter. Daughter, yeah. Totally. I'm pretty sure I could have fucked his sister. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but anyway, let's don't get, you doubt let's, me. Let's get back to the story. You know what's funny is <laughs> one time I was drunk and I told my daughter that story, and Can she's like, "No, story? dude, are you going to tell me that you pissed in the sink?" Oh, shit. oh no, that's admission number three or four. We're going like six or seven. <laughs> Keep the story going a little bit while I go take a piss. So here's the back door. Where right are there. you gonna piss? Uh, I'm just going to go piss off front and grab a couple beers. So just, just keep keep the store going. Uh, story Are you going. taking a break too? No. no, no I'm listening. I'm yeah, waiting. I'm listening. We're okay. listening. You're not. You're pissing. He knows the story. Uh, well, that's why you're not getting to the good part. Like, yeah, all right. I won't get to the good part until you're back. So, okay. So, yeah, I pissed off the deck. Yeah, I fucked a bitch till I broke the futon. And, yeah, Dalton encouraged me to piss in the hallway. Dalton did that first. I only went participate like the third time Dalton went out the hallway. I didn't like, why is Dalton going out? Like, Brad's going out front door to piss. Dalton kept going out the front. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Are you doing drugs or something? Right? Are you, are you sure, sure he only pissed out the hallway one time? Mm, I guarantee it was more than once. All right, whatever. Go ahead. Okay, so then time goes by, and I wake up like, oh, my God, I got to piss. Uh, bedroom door's like, fuck. And it was like, that time it was daylight, so I didn't feel comfortable pissing off the deck. So, yes, I pissed in the sink. Okay. But I pissed in my sink. I mean, I, right now, I'll piss in my sink right now. Were there dishes in there? No, 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 no. You don't ever piss on dishes. Like, okay. look, look, all my dishes are on the right hand side. I keep the level on my face. I, I piss on my sink in the regular. And then you use a little spray gun and spray it all down. All right. Which, a little sidebar, urine is sterile. Okay. Brad Pitt taught me that. <laughs> Brad Pitt was at some political thing, you know, like pediatric AIDS or something where everybody agrees, you know, right? <laughs> And George Bush's twin daughters were there. So Brad Pitt was drunk, and he went up to Jenna and Barbara Bush, the twins. He's like, hey, nice to meet you, ladies. By the way, I just want to let you know, urine is sterile. <laughs> Which is true, urine is sterile. So anyway, yes, I piss on dishes. But no, no, I never piss on dishes. That's rude. You never okay. piss on dishes. That's that's rude. Okay. Okay, so then I'm, I think Brad's coming back. So then we're going to the, we're gonna get to the meat of the story. All right. So Her question was, "Did I piss on dishes?" And I'm like, "No, I never do that. I piss in my sink." And look, 
safety. This is a one safety. The other thing's clean, so oh, you yeah. piss. Yeah. You piss at sinks, right? Oh, absolutely, all the time. So then, here we go. Let's just let's just cut to the chase. Okay, so we all acknowledge pissing in the sink is a thing. So then, one time I wake up and I'm shit faced. And it's 4 a.m. and it's fucking cold. And it's like, I got a shit. Oh, God. And I try to go in the bedroom. God damn it, the bedroom door is locked. Fuck. So I went downstairs. I went outside and I shit by the dumpster. Because the dumpster had a little fancy thing. So I could like hide behind the dumpster and shit. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you, that's not how the story went. I already know this story. And that's what story? not how it went. No. What story? Well, okay, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Let's hear what she thinks <laughs> yes, yes. happened. Go, Shelly, go. So the shitting next to the dumpster didn't happen like that. You weren't at my house. It was a Sunday night into a Monday morning. and They never work Mondays. So I believe this story already because once I gave up on corporate life and being a part of society, I said I will never work Monday mornings again because everything was like, oh, fucking Monday. I Hate never, him. ever. Hate I him. never work. No, no, no. I work six days a week doing fucking pizzas, but I have refused Monday morning. I will never I'll fuck, I'll fuck you. Yes. Fuck okay. Monday. Straight so, up. So I believe this story already because I've done that. So, so this is what happened. So Sunday night, Sheldon's at Hank's, liquored up. Yes. Well, let's go to Shelly's. You were out drinking that night on a Sunday, and you didn't want to drive home or something. It was closer to come to my house. So you came to my house. at Hank's. Yeah, of course it's close to your house. But it was too late, and you knew that we had to get up and go to work. So you <sighs> slept in your car in, in the, the parking, parking lot. lot. And I and shit you, by the dumpster. And then you woke up and you shit by the dumpster. And then you called me when I was getting ready for work. And then you told me the story. So you I'm such dumpster. a great friend. I'm like, no, they are part of the rat race. I can't wake them up at 3 a.m. on Sunday night. They got to work Monday morning. I'll just sleep in the parking lot. Got to shit. I'll shit by the dumpster. Got it. Right. You left because them I'm in the re- parking lot? No, I didn't call her till like 8 a.m. Oh, so yeah, No, I them. showed up at 3 a.m. And I thought, can't fuck with him. They have to work oh, Monday gotcha, morning. gotcha, gotcha. I slept in my car when it's negative 10 and shit by the dumpster. And I called her again. <laughs> by the way, I'm in your parking lot. And I agree with her version. I got him some coffee. He yeah, told me the did. story. And I was like, you're a fucking animal. Who shits by the dumpster? And then I was like, well, it's it worse. questions it gets about worse. It gets worse. Life. It gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay. such, such a sweetheart. She brought you fucking and coffee and no, shit. No, no, I had to come up to get the coffee. But yeah, she's a but sweetheart. Still, I let him come in where it was warm. She's, and a, she's a goddamn coffee. sweetheart. Did you so, use the no, no thanks. I already shit by the dumpster. Right. <laughs> so, but it does get worse, Brad. Right? Yeah. It does get worse. Okay. This is this is where I don't know. So I moved the sandbox repeatedly. <laughs> I'm holding on to that all firmly. <laughs> so then one time it was negative 10 out and we got all liquored up and oh, you know hold on where do you think this is going i want to know what you where do you think this is going what do you think he is about to drop the hints on are you? all there I, I no, don't don't say anything just, he's right we, we we have been putting hints out there well, he keeps talking about the sandbox so i'm kind of wondering if he pissed talking, in the no, sandbox no, I, did not, I did not shit in the sandbox all right well hold on let's, i would let's, not do that let's get that back. would be over the line get back to your mic let's fucking i'm making drinks i need oh. a drink for this oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> but so anyway, where do you think the story? You think the story is going to the sandbox? No, I never. It's not sandbox. going to the sandbox. The yeah, sandbox is sacred. I okay. hate moving it, I but I would never. I would never fuck with the sandbox. I would not. I would not do that. Not. I mean, so far I've been accepting of everything that you've said. Yeah, so <laughs> this one gets bad. <laughs> so so <laughs> this is the part. Okay, so let's we, take a commercial break. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but, but we're gonna need. <laughs> Oh, oh, the Pope's pulling some. I oh. paid a hundred dollars for this. And I'm sharing it with you. I know. I, I'm okay, save it, save it, save it. I don't know what you're doing. You're loving it. Every time you're yeah, like, yeah, it, it is good. good. It is fucking really good. I'm, I'm wasting. I'm, I don't share this with the hookers. Okay, I share the fucking black cherry fucking forty proof with the this, hookers. This okay? is for the maraschino cherries. This there. is for the men. There's one with cherries. You want the one with cherries? I can't, no, I can't. Woo! Okay, yeah, we'll do that later. It's only <laughs> ten o'clock. You can have a little black cherry. <laughs> Come on, cherry. please. I might need it after this story. Let's hear the story. Okay, well, we're gonna, I'm gonna get you a shot of creamsicle. Well, let me have the story. cherry then. If well, I have to, you can have both. Drink. I'll chip in on a cab if you fucking want to start drinking. No. You guys can crash here, <laughs> and I will chip in on a cab. I can't crash here. I got my kid in the morning. Goofus. He, she's got a daddy. Four. He's got to work. What oh, time? Yeah, well. Four a.m. <laughs> okay, well I can drive by four. 
<laughs> no. Sheldon always happening. drinks and drives. That's the highlight of the podcast. When my friend for 20 years throws in, Sean can always drink and drive. That's right. Sean Unless always he fucking did. passes hell. Fucking poop. Yeah, well, I shouldn't have drove that night. See, that's how, like, if I'm if I'm awake, I can drive. If I pass out, okay, I can't drive. I'm too drunk to drive. I pass out. <laughs> Obviously. It's, Tell it's me clearly. where you fucking shit, please. <laughs> All right. Cheers. With, uh, what, so, what is this foo-foo drink called before we drink? Cream Creamsicle. 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 All right. No, oh, I already to... drank mine. Yeah, Sorry. Whatever. All right. That's only like 50 proof. It's Shells is itching. So, Shells okay. Itching. So, anyway, here we go. We've spent an hour leading up to this. So, okay, we were out drinking, and we were really drunk. Go back to Shelly's, because whatever. We're going to keep drinking. Was I partying with you guys at this time? You and Preston were definitely part of the evening. I'm not sure who else was there. I was not there. You okay. might have been, but you weren't at the apartment. I'm, I'm not sure who was all... We were at Hank's. I'm not sure who Harl was there, but I was really, fu- really fucked up. Okay, so you asked me where I think this story is going. The only other thing that I know of that I did not approve of, of you doing in my apartment, was after I had passed out one night, there was a bunch of people in my living room, and you guys did coke, allegedly. Oh, that, that's, I don't I remember that. Know. That's getting off <laughs> that's well. not, That sounds like Dalton was involved. Uh, yeah, that, right? that, that's getting off. Here's my rule on coke. If you have coke and you want to share it, sure, I'll do it. I have never, not once, in... 82 years I've been alive. Have I ever paid for cocaine? I've never right, paid so for cocaine either. It wasn't the coke story then. That is dead serious. I've never paid for cocaine. I haven't either. I won't pay for it. You no, know, people are like, hey, dude, let's do some coke. Sure, line it up. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Honestly, though, the Monster Vodka or Red Bull Vodka, you get the same <laughs> fucking buzz, and it's legal and cheap. They also called the Four Loco cocaine in a can. Yeah, it's more of a fucking date rape drug in a can. <laughs> Because I, I mean, I blacked out on I'm sorry, it. Okay, they did not call it. They called it blackout in a can yeah. or liquid cocaine. Uh, it's it. not really cocaine. It's cocaine hypes you up. You're hyper. A fucking four loco puts you under. Four loco is like an anesthesia. <laughs> I think like Sheldon has ADHD, so like cocaine probably counterbalances him. <laughs> Just makes him mellow. Adderall is the best, man. That time release Adderall. I got to do it at work. It gets a few every month. Oh yeah. Me and this dude both work Thursday from open to close. Like, literally, a 13-hour shift. We go in at 10, we don't get out to 11. And those time-release Adderalls are the best, man. It's like, woo, woo. It's like a little roller coaster. Are we ever? We're making you We are. We are. are. We're making you drunkles late. You guys got to keep listening. You got to keep listening. All right. uh, Shelly is getting so anxious. We're there on the cusp. (laughs) So, anyway, we're all partying. We're all drunk. I don't remember. I was too drunk to drive. You impressed us to be in your car. We went back to your apartment. You impressed to go to the bedroom, lock the door. Fuck. I pass out on the futon. I wake up at 5 a.m. And I really got a shit. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Where did you shit, Sean? Oh, God. <laughs> Never mind. I can't. <laughs> Oh, shit, I yes, mean. you can. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no way. <laughs> I, moved, I moved the sandbox three times. <laughs> Come on. Where did you shit? Just spit it out. <laughs> In the garbage disposal. <laughs> oh, my God. Go into some descriptions with it. You fucking, you fucking animal. <laughs> Well, no, I'm yeah. seriously appalled. I, 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 I don't want to tell the story. I don't know if you'll disown them because it's like, been not... so long ago. But uh, you had cleaning products in that little cabinet in the kitchen, like that little closet, mm-hmm. and I Cloroxed and bleached it, and hot water with the spray gun, and I scrubbed. It. But it was like negative ten. I couldn't go by the dumpster. <laughs> You didn't have thought to knock on the door. I did, but you didn't answer. It was fun. I was like, God, you got a shit. You guys didn't answer. I'm like, okay. Okay. What? We did a little tap tap. I did. I did. I did. I did. We had been drinking hard. And you guys didn't wait. I really got a shit. Hey, come on. I'm serious. I got a shit. Nothing. Silence. I couldn't even hear you whispering. Shh, you're laughing. No, no, there was nothing. It was something like, fuck. I'm like, all right, I gotta go outside. And I'm like, oh, God, it's negative 10. I can't go shit by there. Fuck it, I'm shit in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> and I did just use the garbage disposal sign. So I was like, nee, me, me. <laughs> I ground it up. <laughs> How did you wipe yourself? That's paper what towels. I know. Paper oh, towels. Paper towels. Paper towels. Do you feel violated? Wait, hold on. <laughs> I put paper towels in a Ziploc bag in my coat pocket. Oh, hey, your coat pocket so in a Ziploc bag 
than into my coat pocket. Because, like, you can't put shitty paper towels in the kitchen garbage. That's fucking rude. Yeah, right? absolutely. Well, that's, that's rude. rude. <laughs> right? So, I had to wipe with paper towels. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to Oh, look, a Ziploc bag. Okay. Oh, so they shitty paper towels in the Ziploc bag. Put that in the coat pocket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 you wanted a funny drunk story. There you go, baby. There you go. You want it, you got it. You wanted the best, you got the best. Uh, <laughs> you wanted the best, you got <laughs> I shit in your garbage is better. All right, all right, all right. Here, let's, let's take I'm, a drink. I'm sorry. So, one more time. Hold on. Wait. I moved the sandbox three times. <laughs> let's, get, let's get quiet. I, I, I need I need Shell's reaction. I'm sorry. <laughs> so fucking gross. So fucking gross. Like little Are you ready to disown him or like You're gonna disown me, are you? I'm no, in the sandbox. Okay. I'm not, and I'm he gonna... put it in the garbage dispenser. <laughs> can you imagine that sound? <laughs> I just can't imagine the smell. <laughs> you got a stove fan. He, he did yeah. put it all in his pocket, though. At least there was that. Yeah, yeah. I mean... He, and I use bleach, too. I use bleach. Okay? Thank God you fucking cleaned up after Oh, me. no, no. I knew it was wrong. Even at the time, <laughs> I knew it was wrong. But you had a little, like, step stool, too, in that kitchen. Do you remember what I'm talking about? No, I never had a step stool. There was something. <laughs> Somebody else's kitchen! <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't. No, no. It was clearly Shelly's kitchen. Okay, like, you walk in the door, the futon's there, the TV's there, you go around the corner, the kitchen's there, dining table's there, bedroom's there. No, no, it was 100% Shelly's kitchen. She, Shelly's sure, but she doesn't need a step stool. No, I never... There I'm was not some, sure. Okay, okay, okay. You're not really sure. Okay, maybe... Well, you're short compared to me. Maybe short, anybody's short compared to you. Everybody's short compared to you, exactly. Don't, I'm well, that's short why compared I said you're you. short. <laughs> I'm taller than 99% of the bitches out there, and I'm shorter than you. Anyway, that's regardless. Irregardlessly. <laughs> Which is not a word. It's I love that. Irregardlessly. There was something. Maybe it was a box or something. Maybe it was a package from Amazon. Who fucking knows? There, because, like, how do you get your ass in the sink? Like, you're like, oh, fuck. But there was a box. So, like, the box. I'm like, oh, okay. I get my ass in the sink. <laughs> and he just went to town. <laughs> like, did you have clumps? Like, were they solid turds? Or was I mean, it, like, I, I, Rhea? I, listen. I was so drunk, I was shit in the sink, okay? So, it's pretty much that watery drunk. Watery, sink. just, yeah, like, it's splattering everywhere. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, oh god, it's shit in the sink. Turn the hot water on, get that spray gun. There's clean- oh, there's a closet. Oh, cleaning stuff, thank god. I, I mean, listen, I cleaned that sink better than I've ever cleaned any sink ever. I will say that. I mean, I'm still wrong, and I apologize. I shouldn't have shit in your sink. I did, but I cleaned it well. I cleaned it really well. And all the paper towels I used to wipe my ass, I put in a Ziploc bag, put it in my coat pocket, and then threw it in the dumpster when I left. And, okay. <laughs> hey, but he was appreciating your guys' sexy time. So, hey, Sheldon, why don't we come to your house Friday? You can tell us old drunk stories. <laughs> sure, I got a good one. You ain't never heard this one. <laughs> I love you. I'm sorry. You're my girl. You're like my. You're, you're like the sister I never had. Cheers. I need a drink after that. What do you want? You want some cream? No, 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 no. <laughs> some cream single. <laughs> it's, only, it's only fifty. Proof. Have some cream single. No, I'm good. You'll be all right. No, you're not. You're you're, slow <laughs> you're you're disturbed, folks. You bitch. Sorry, drink half. Welcome right. to the Pope. Welcome to the Vatican. Give me your fucking glass. Oh yeah. More cream sickle. I, I, I don't mind the cream sickle. The cream sickle. Right, but this is the man drink. This is like yeah. Let's get well, drunk. dude, I, I'm sipping on the man drink. Right. I'm just this uh, is the, like let's get hookers drunk. Yeah, the foo foo is not bad. Though. I know, right? This is like the water we use while we drink our man drink. He fucking use the garbage disposal to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> dude, this is a new one. I have never, <laughs> right? never heard I've anyone never, I've never use been. the garbage disposal to fucking. Yeah. See, see, you know what? You know what? When I met you. 38 years ago, you're like, well, I'm the president. I'm like, well, fuck you. If I join, I'll be the fucking pope, <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. And you're like, oh, are you sure? I'm like, I-, I can drink more than your kids, okay? Hey, I've never, Hello. I've never, Hello. I've never, I've never <laughs> denied it, Pope. No real drink. I never denied it. I embrace <laughs> I you. I am the open, fucking open animal. arms. I remember, like, uh, we had a good night, and you ended up with your toes in Luke's butt, and then we fought. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, dude, I, I had that. <laughs> Do you know Mike, Army buddy? Who's the guy that went to jail for always getting DUIs? The Army guy. 
Uh, there was one dude like that would always come roll with us, but he went to like prison for a while. Eddie, Eddie, yeah. Is he still in prison? No, he's out, but he's all pissy. Oh yeah. No, well. hold on, that's a different story. It was his birthday. We went to fucking Lebo's, and he's already had like ten DUIs. He's like, I'm gonna drive. We're like, No, you're not. He's a fucking Navy SEAL. Plus, he's worse than a Navy SEAL. Okay, he's covert. Okay, and I literally is this the Eddie I know? Yeah, Eddie, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. the fire plug. Mm-hmm. It was his birthday. We get fucked up at Lebo's. I'm like, you're too fucked to drive. And he's like, I'm driving. And I'm like, no, you're not. You're fucked up. You've got 10 DUIs. Fuck you. Like, we literally were like this close to like beating each other up because I wasn't going to let him drive. And he's like, I'm fucking driving. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to get killed by a Navy SEAL because he wants to drunk drive. Yeah. Fucking drive. No shit. The next day, of course, he gets busted. The next day, he blames me. He's like, you should have let me drove. And I'm like, I tried my best. We were this close to fucking hitting each other. Well, that's not the way I remember it. My buddy Andrew, you know my buddy Andrew? You met him, I'm sure. He's kind of a dork, but I love Andrew. Anyway, Andrew was Oh, with yeah, us. I like Andrew. Andrew's like, no, dude, Eddie, he's right. He's Because Andrew was sober. Andrew was Do my Do you still dude. hang out with him? Yeah, I love that dude. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's my DD. He was my DD that night, and he's like, no, Eddie, Sheldon's right. Doesn't he get as fucked up as you? <sighs> he's worried about drinking and driving. Well, I mean, I am. Sure. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That's the next drunk story. About the time Andrew was with me when I blew up a DUI. Anyway, Eddie, that guy that we're talking about, I love him, but he decided it's my fault he got a DUI. And I'm like, nope. I came this close to like fucking fist fight with you, and I love you, but I pushed you away from your car and you grabbed my throat. And I said, okay, fine, fucking drive. Nope. And now you're going to blame it on me. But yes, he's out of jail and he's sober now and whatever. Well, that's how I am. Like, you know, I, I'm only going to do so much to prevent you from drinking and driving. Right. It's your if, choice. It's if, your if, call. It Be is. responsible for your own fucking actions. Absolutely. Absolutely. Handle your own shit. This is a great drunk story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Andrew, my buddy. Courtney, the stripper, was part of the story, too. And Star Wars, motherfucker. Star Wars is the best. The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian's recent. How's the stripper involved in this? Okay, I saw Star Wars when I was nine, and there was no fucking No, but you're talking about the Mandalorian. No, I'm just mentioning that because I'm talking about Star Wars. The Star Wars that I'm referring to was from episode four, which I saw when I was, I don't know, four, let's say. I wasn't four, but whatever. Once upon a time, it was in the army, I think, late 80s, somebody told me we were drunk, and they said, wouldn't that be great if you could do that Jedi mind trick? And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, you get pulled over, and you're like, oh, no, sir. These aren't the drunks you're looking for. Move along, <laughs> right? The Obi-Wan. Bitch. Like I, I, like, I really need to get on my phone, but I'd love to learn because Shelly's saying, yeah, put your phone down. But Brad's allowed to use his phone? What is this, double stare? Because he's white and I'm not? No. Uh, he's allowed to use his phone because uh, he's white? I'm trying white to I'm, I'm trying to ask somebody to ask Sheldon a question. Because I feel like after this podcast, we definitely need to start doing a Twitch feed. All right. With, all right. Like, so anyway. Okay. I'll, I'll come over on like a regular basis and we'll just set up a Twitch feed with you. Like. You know when I get the, you know, <laughs> you know what? Because of my whole fuck Monday thing, you know when I get the most drunk? Sunday fucking nights. I work Sunday nights. But when I get off Sunday night, I just get all blue. Rated. I don't even oh. wake up Monday to like noon because Dude. fuck corporate world. Yeah. Fuck corporate world. I hate Sundays and I hate Mondays. Like the two days I don't want to do anything are Sundays and Mondays and my other podcast, Guy Party, it's like the only time dude Sounds wants gay. to fucking party is like, let's do a pod on Sunday. I'm like, no, man, Sundays just suck for me because I partied all weekend. Like, it's you, Guy Party. You need to get rid of your Monday mornings. You need to go into work and say, look, you don't own me. I'll work 40 hours a week, but I'm not working Monday mornings. You should. That's I, spiritual advice. Sleeping on Monday morning makes your spirit whole. You feel like a human again. I just feel this fucking animal needs his own channel. I feel like he needs his own podcast. I feel like okay, so anyway, we have to create a whole entity back right Back to the here. Star Wars story. So, okay. Uh, I was working. It was a Sunday night. And then after work, Courtney, I got Courtney a job. <laughs> That's funny, too. I got Courtney a job at, um, there's Goodfellas, what's the one across the street? Mm. Goodfellas. You know where Goodfellas is, right? Yeah, down Beachmont. there in Beachmont. What's the one across the street? I have no idea. Bar Louie? What? Bar Louie? No, no, no. Directly across from Goodfellas. Sammy owns it. Sammy Little. Latitudes. Latitudes. My ex-wife and her husband are really tight with Sammy, who owns Latitudes. I use that connection to get my stripper a job. She was the hostess. Hee hee. Thanks for coming to Latitudes. How many in your party tonight? 
So right. anyway, she get off work about 8 or 9, so she'd go across the street to Goodfellas, and then I got off at 10 or 11, and I would go there and pick her up, and like, hey, hey have a couple of drinks, pay her fucking $50 tab, and then we go. So anyway, Andrew was there, my buddy Andrew. Andrew's there, he's hanging out. Oh, hey, coordinator, hey, hey, cool. All right, let's go. So I'm, um, you know, so we're driving, we get pulled over, and Sheldon gave him the Obi-Wan Jedi mind trick. Excuse me, sir, have you been drinking tonight? I have not. We're not the drunks you're looking for. And I wave my hand. We're not the drunks you're looking for. <laughs> and the cop laughed. And I'm like, I'm glad you got that. How are you going to take it when I tell you to move along? He's like, be safe, sir. And I'm like, hey, move along. <laughs> Andrew's in the back seat. He's like, but you're high and drunk. You're you're really high and you're really drunk. And that cop just lets you go. I'm like, I'm the Pope, bitch. <laughs> I'm a pope, bitch. I told the cop, we're not the drunks you're looking for. <laughs> Move along. <laughs> These aren't the droids you're looking for. Move along. We're not the drunks you're looking for. Move along. And I gave him the Obi-Wan. Move along. <laughs> I yeah. beat a deal. And for the record, I was over the legal limit. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so, Pete. How did the cop let you out of that? Because he was amused. Because I said... We're not the drunks you're looking for. He's like a left grade. He's a Star Wars man because he's a white man who loves Star Wars. That's I, why. I've had pigs let me off. Well, when I was younger. You know what? Here's the key. That. Be yeah. respectful. And if they find you entertaining, they're like, oh, yep. they're good kids. Yep. Whatever. Get, get rid of you them. You know what? You know when you'll never get off? When you say, you only pulled me over because you're racist. Fuck you, man. You're going to jail every fucking time. Every fucking time. When you call a cop a racist pig, you're going, going to jail every time. No, we <laughs> we're sticking with Star Wars. If you tell a cop a Star Wars joke, he'll laugh and let you go, even though you're drunk and high <laughs> with a 25 year old stripper. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're not the drunks you're looking. It was Anderson Township cop too, and he pulled me. I'm like, hey, whatever. And I gave him a turn signal and pulled over right away. I didn't like try to outrun him, and I had my seatbelt on. He walks up, and I say, "Here's my license and registration." He's like, "You know, I pulled you over." I'm like, "Not really." He goes, "Well, I saw you leaving Goodfellas." I'm like, "So you pulled me over because you saw me leaving a bar?" He's like, "Well, yeah." I said, "Well, listen, we're not the drunks you're looking for." <laughs> All right, so I beat a DUI using a Star Wars quote, Brad. I you, love it. Yes, thank you. you yeah. Give me acknowledgement. Hey. We're not the drugs you're looking for. I, I told that to a fucking a, cop. I picked up a girl before when I was like, can I spray you in carbonite? And she knew the reference. And she was like, God damn, you're not cute. But that you knew that well, reference. She's wrong. She's it, wrong. You are cute. I know I am. <laughs> so this is my little fucking go to. Like, you know yeah. what the greatest tragedies of my life is? One of the greatest tragedies of my life was during my second divorce, I drank a lot and didn't eat much, and I got kind of skinny, and I bought a beautiful Brad t-shirt. Oh, yeah. You looked really good in And that. the greatest tragedy of my life is is now I've gotten fat, and I can't wear that shirt. Now. That is unfortunate. That's what you're going to have to get you a bigger size now. I know. I need a double X. Do you, do you still make those? Can you get more? I want a double X. Do you think I should make some more? I do, but I don't know if you'll sell them or not. <laughs> I'll buy five. I mean, I'm pretty sure I didn't sell I'll any of them. Five. I had to give them all out. And you defend that guy, which... Fuck him, by the way. Who? I don't fucking defend. You gave him a drum set and he didn't pay you, so he gave you t-shirts instead. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah. Fuck him. He's See? not hurt me. Fuck him. What's his name? Sean. Yeah. Fuck you, Sean. You got a fucking drum set and you try to pay him off in fucking t-shirts that he had to sell. You're a fucking douchebag. Give him your stimulus check right now. You got a stimulus check, <laughs> motherfucker. Don't spend it on hookers and drugs. Give Brad the fucking thousand dollars you owe him for that drum set. If you're a stand-up man. No, no, don't cut that. If you're a stand-up white man, give Brad the money you owe him. Not Here's some t-shirts you can sell. Fuck you. Give him the drum set back or give him the money. Don't cut that, Brad. I won't cut it. The page! The Pope Rage! Cheers! Cheers! The Cheers. fucking truth. I'm, I'm fucked. Am I wrong? Did I say anything that was wrong? No, I did not. All right. On that note, do you guys want to hit anything else before we wrap this up and we listen to some... Why are we wrapping it up, man? Just... Well, I mean, just the, the pod. We're, we're not fucking going to stop partying, but... Well, okay, well, then pause guys... it and we'll make part three. Oh, yeah. I just think we should leave the mics running. I'm on fire, dude. I, this is this is this is genius material, dude. 
<laughs> I mean, you guys don't get. When's the last time you story about somebody shitting in your sink? I'm letting my fucking number one producer fucking roll with it. Shit so sink, she, she, she'll give me the A's and the, the B's and the OKs and the. We should Charlies talk about that. Trees. We should talk about that. Let's talk a story about the drunken army because that is the majority of the people that listen. So, do you have any good drunken? I army do. Stories? I have lots of good stories about the drunken army. Why don't you tell everybody how you met us? Do you even remember? I do, absolutely. Fucking B-Rab. <laughs> what, me? No, Definitely that's how I met. Definitely not. Well, it was we... shells, because I remember... No, no, no. I met her first, but she was just a hot chick. <laughs> yeah. Still I am. met you, and you started telling me about the Drunken Army. She didn't tell me about the Drunken Army. The only thing I heard from her about the Drunken Army was, no, I can't go with you because I can go watch the Drunken Army softball game. I'm like... Fuck the Drunken Army. Come out with me, girl. I love you. You're hot. You got titties. I have a picture of you. I don't even know what concert was, but I bought her some <laughs> slushy thing. She had this cleavage shirt on. And she said... Motley like, Crew. Okay, Motley Crew. Okay, we're going to edit that. The husband's not going to approve of that story. No, he loves Motley Crew. <laughs> yeah, sure, I took his wife... He was wife there to, with his ex-wife. Yeah, he was, he was, was banging his, his Mexican time. wife, and I'm like taking his current wife to Motley Crew, and she's sucking on a Slurpee with her boobies, and we're like, oh, God... That picture, that yeah, picture you know. that's a glorious picture. Yeah. She knew exactly which picture I'm talking about, even though it was 15 years ago. She knew the picture I'm talking about. Also, that night, somebody at Riverbend that I didn't know, didn't know me, took a picture of me and my breastage and put it on breastage. Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> and it was somebody that was friends with my big brother, Brad. Uh, and he saw it and he was like, dude, you need to take that fucking picture down. And he was like, he was like oh, why do I need to take that picture down and he goes that's my I, sister and he uh, goes so, your sister has nice tits I got, and he's I, like dude I'm not fucking with you take that picture down it's, it's always uh, uh, fucked me up like big brother Brad like I'm not big brother Brad but in my life there's never been any other Brad so like I, it confuses you know, right? me like right, right. but so, that's why I say big brother Brad so yeah, yeah all right, fair, so, fair enough not big brother Brad you're gonna need to edit this some cause cause at the time it wasn't my sister Shells, who I love. The sister I never had. I love you. Hey, Sh- Shells is my fucking girl. At the time, at the Shh. time, it was like, God Preston, damn, look at this big girl. Those wife. big titties and those cheekbones. I love it. Well, it yeah. Like, want to go see did. Molly Crew, girl? Yeah, let's go see one. Hell yeah. Let me buy you some slushies. And she's like, suck on the slushie. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> and he gives all that. To answer the question about the drunk army, yes, I met her first, but it wasn't about the drunk army. It was about this hot chick, man, big witty. You were just want to fuck. And then she's like, I can't go out tonight. I got to go see the drunk army play softball. I'm like, fuck the drunk army. What the fuck? So, pause. I know that that didn't happen because I didn't meet you until after I was already separated and the drunken army softball happened Mm. when I was still married. Hold on, okay. So hold on. I was there behind Bob Evans when you and Brandon <laughs> were splitting up. I was Team Shelly and everybody else was Team Brandon. Was Bob Evans? Behind Bob no. Evans. I was one of the few people that was Team Shelly. Brandon had a bunch of douchebags helping him, and you only had two or three of us. Brandon doesn't have really many friends. At the time, he had five to ten people show up, and Shelly had two or three people show up, and I was one of the two or three. But we were split up when I met you. Because the way that I know this is because I walked out of the door of the pub. Yes, the pub. And you go... Hey girl, you want to be my future ex-wife? And I was that like, was my thing. You <laughs> right? said, "That is, I agree with that 100." percent That was my original pickup line. And you're gonna be my next future ex-wife. I said, "Hold on, I gotta divorce this one first. Cool. Yeah, let's, 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 let's get this thing in here. Twenty years later, Sheldon pickup lines. Shot my future ex-wife. That was a great pickup line. It was. It's, no, here, here it's here not are, a great, it's still a good it one. It's still a good one. And here we are 20 years later. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I don't remember the details. I will say that in later times that I met some of the people who were Team Brandon during that move out, and they're okay. I think Dave was one of the Team Brandon guys. I don't think so. I'm not sure, but you were definitely outnumbered. And I was glad that I was there because Brandon had whatever, 10 people show up to help him move his stuff. And you had two or three of us. And I was like, well, fucking thank God I'm here to help this chick. She's cool. I know and I'm Dave about did that. not show up. No. Maybe not Dave. Brandon no. move. Brandon was probably on his own. Brandon no, he wasn't. Anybody. No, he wasn't. No, I'm 100% on that. 
Brandon. No, Hughes. dude, because I literally like texted him earlier. I was really like, because we do a podcast called Guy Party. I'm like, yeah, no, 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 hold on, I don't hate Brandon. Well, I like no, Brandon. no, no, nobody but, does. But I was like, sorry, but um, you know, all our shit doesn't line up. Nobody has so, a group of friends that lines up. But but I didn't. me and Shelly have the same group of friends. But I know, me and but Brandon don't. Like, I, I did not know anybody. I only know Shelly. And I agreed to come help remove. So, what's your recollection of that? I remember feeling outnumbered, for sure. She wasn't outnumbered. Uh, no, I think he had movers. I yeah. think he hired Maybe movers. Maybe that was it. And Ch- I was And you like, had a couple friends or Yeah, Ch- Chester did not broke, have... Bad broke. Yeah. I think I had to get money from my mom you for the You do remember U-Hall. me being there, right? And you you and Brad came and moved me out. From the word behind ones. Bob Evans. And that's when we moved into Northern Kentucky and you yeah. met the chick. Okay, but I was there. And I didn't know anybody but you. So when I say that we were separated, she doesn't mind. We were separated for degrading for a couple toilet. Good months before I moved out of there. You know, I know you were living together, but not together. Like you were still living together because you had two months or three months left on the lease or some shit. Well, I had moved in with my parents for a while, and then I think I stayed there for a couple more months, and then moved. It was like a year. Okay, hold on. Plug your ears. No. Listen, it's not embarrassing. It will just make you sad. Okay. Cheers to Steve. I miss Steve. Oh, Steve. I fucking love Steve. <laughs> I love Steve, but fucking Vicky was my favorite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love Vicky, too. Vicky pissed her pants because she saw Bono. That fucking, that's hot. <laughs> Vicky was the best, dude. But I love Steve, too, though. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, you know what? Fuck this dude, Pete Rose. He's like, yes, you're right. Pete Rose. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yes, a Pete Rose guy. I'm talking about good fucking ass people, man. <laughs> I know. They were. They I love were you. fucking good people. Sorry, I shouldn't mm-hmm. sink. I am sorry about that. It's okay. But I just want to make sure, you know, I love Steve. I love Vicky. I help you move from behind Bob Evans. Those people have made an impression in my life to this day. Me too. I fucking love. Me too. Well, obviously, Shells. Fuck you. But yeah, dude. Me and Brad, they ain't our parents, but we both, we love Steve and Vicky, both of us. Especially Mm -hmm. Vicky, man. She's my girl. Always will right? be. I fucking think about her a lot. Me too. See? I can't imagine how much you think about her. But I do. Like, I See? find myself thinking about, See? like, when I go, I want the younger generation to think about me as much as, like, I think about them. Mm-hmm. Like, if I fucking did right in life. But you know what? I'm promoting you to Cardinal. You're there. The Cardinal? You're Cardinal. <laughs> oh, thank hey, you. I told you, dude. I told you when I met you. I've done this cycle. And like, you get all these friends, and they all fade away. You keep two or three. And you yeah, get there. Yeah. You're like, I don't give a fuck. I just want people to know I was a cool dude. I cared about people. I fucking up. 20 fucking years ago, I didn't even fucking know her, and I moved her fucking 800 pound sandbox. Because <laughs> she didn't have no friends. And Brandon had, maybe I was wrong on that part. Maybe they weren't friends. Maybe they were movers. She had but more friends than Brandon. Never Brandon did. had a lot of people there, and she only had two or three. Who was there besides me? No yeah, way. Brad, me, yeah, Brad, he had more it. friends than Brandon yeah. ever did. Me and you were, I didn't even know you then. We I didn't, didn't even know you then. So me and you were the only two that helped her. And he yeah. Movers. You know, it was we were Where the only motherfuckers there. I didn't know you then. That's why I, I love you guys. <laughs> so, sorry about shit in your sink, but hey. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> right. I moved your fucking well. sandbox 20 years ago. Yes, you did. All right. Raise. Raise. We handled it, dude. We handled it. We covered it. I shit in your garbage disposal. And I've carried that burden for... Years, Shelly. I've carried that burden a lot. I just love that he was like, Oh, let, let me drop this. And like, I'm not driving home with Shelly, and she's gonna not <laughs> hey, find out what happened. Hey, I got an idea. <laughs> Let's get Sheldon on our podcast. It could be funny. <laughs> I love it. Uh, it's the best podcast ever, hey, bitches. We got a two-parter. I'm going to ask my uh, chief three, and executive. three-parter. Shells. Maybe we'll have a regular segment with the Pete. Ooh, maybe. Yeah. The vacuum is always open, my friends. I know. We'll yeah. call them Blackout Fridays. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Blackout Fridays. Can we do a podcast where we're actually fucking one of these chicks is cocking their boyfriend? That'd be hot. Mm. Guy party. Def- just, yeah. just, just have oh, a guy party. Oh, we do a guy party. Right. Yeah, go to, yeah, go to just guy party do, do a guy party episode. <laughs> so let's talk about Neighbor Mike. I love Neighbor Mike. <laughs> Can we wrap this up first? Shout out to you, Neighbor Mike. All right. Um, neighbor Mike, part three. <laughs> Sheldon, part three will be Neighbor Mike. Let's uh, just wrap that up, unless you want to sh- send a shout out to him. or what, Shout what out want, to Neighbor Mike. What do you want to say about Neighbor Mike before we wrap this bitch up? I love Neighbor Mike. He is a smart motherfucker. He's a Second Amendment kind of guy. 
He's also misogynistic. He's intelligent. And uh, he might be the most racist motherfucker I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not and, there. And that's my, and that's my, my fucked up standards, okay? But I love you, neighbor Mike. Well, and shout out to, uh, well, I don't know if I should say her name. But um, to the chick who used to be a mommy bod with big titties, who now has shrunken titties with stretch marks, talking to her boyfriend while I'm banging her. You know what? <laughs> I love you, girl. So, drunk Great. Can I play old white man music now? Yeah. Uh, In a minute. So, drunk you got Sheldon, or you, Pope. I'm sorry. You got the Pope, part one, part two. You outed me. Let us know in the Facebook group if you want some more of the Pope. Cause or if you've had enough. No, no you've I had hope, enough. I hope you all vote no, because then we'll definitely do it. The more negative votes yeah. you get, the more likely I, it is. Honestly, I'd love to do this more regularly so with the if Pope. if you don't want Sheldon on the podcast... Everybody vote yes, because if we get 100 yes votes, I won't do it. But if we get 100 no votes, I'm going to 100% do it. Like, yeah, Fucking like rage. <laughs> Fucking rage. None of you bitches move Shelly Sandbox. I did five fucking times, so fuck you all. And Brad did. And yeah, Brad. Yeah. No, no, wait, no, Brad. Right. I, mean, I mean the listeners. Peter, stop it. All right, folks. Uh, we love you all. Love you. Yeah, man, if you want to hear some more, Sheldon Pete, Sheldon Pete, or Pope Pete, will be... Peter Popper? Uh, I don't know. Pope Pete, what, do you think you'll do it again? Sheldon. Oh, fuck, I'll do it every day. You motherfuckers aren't here. You came here with your equipment, and I recorded three podcasts now. So you know what? You can come here every fucking day. I'm, I'm like this every day. You can have this every fucking day. Anytime you show up, show them real tough stories. We'll have to see how the numbers are on. Maybe we'll do like a Twitch feed. Oh, uh, no, no, no. no. Uh, I'm not, I'm not popularity based. <laughs> I am the Sheldon. I am the Pope. I am the man. I am the fucking uncontrollable force of nature. You want to record me? Record me. You don't want to record me? Don't. All right, shows, 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 lead us out on this one. All right, thanks for sticking around. If you've stuck around this long, <laughs> if you've listened, I'll to listen both, to it. Thank you. You have at least one listener. Sheldon will listen to himself all day, all day, every day. Check us out on our Facebook page. Check us out on the Drunkle Podcast group page, where you guys can interact with us. Leave us some memes. Come join Check it. Check us out on Spotify, oh. Stitcher, Google Play, oh, iTunes, all that shit. I love all you drunkles. We love all of you drunkles. <laughs> but uh, until the next episode. I feel better that I've unburdened myself. Don't, Don't shit, shit in the sink, motherfuckers! <laughs> and if you do, clean it up well. <laughs> <laughs> and don't admit it for 10 years. <laughs> Love you all. Reach. i